Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Morning Vol Report. It is I, Andrew Jovanazzi, Chief Operating Officer of OptionPick.com. Welcoming you to our report. Anyway, check out our Pro Trader Summit. You can do this at the summit. Stand there and stare at the blinky screens and see what it's like to try to have to trade on a moment's notice. <laughs> uh, there's Mark down there. I will not be here. I'll be minding the store while Mark is running the summit. So it should be a great time. Lots of good speakers um, and great stuff. Also, we will be doing a directional trading class on the 14th. That's one of our Saturday classes. If you're an Option Pit Live member, you get access to it. Uh, or gold, plat, silver, or gold or platinum member or pro member, you get access to it. Also, uh, after that, look for my Easy VIX program coming out after that. So, if the VIX has confused you, it will confuse you no more if you uh, take our little class on it. Uh, and that way, especially with the action we've had, I think it's a good thing to know how to trade. Probably. The best uh, trading tool that the market has right now is the VIX and the VIX futures um, as far as sentiment and things like that go. Once you understand how the futures work, I think you'll have uh, – you get a good idea of what's going on. All right. And with that, we can start there. What do we have? We have Contango again. Um, the first, uh, we are running into the first of, um, September, which I believe is on Friday. Uh, that means we'll have uh, only a couple weeks left. Um, I would say what we have right now for our September cycle is a little light, um, on, on, on decay, um, at least for right now, um, um, meaning that uh, VIX is still a little bit elevated um, relative to where it is before. We only have about a dollar of premium uh, in the future. To me, those are the futures still looking for possibly lower, uh, lower cash VIX in the short term. So from that, I would say, well, we'll take a trade idea from that. We uh, closed some stuff in our strategy letter yesterday, and we'll be looking for other things to do um, in there as well. Part of the reason why this October looks, again, this all looks a little little light uh, as far as premium goes, um, because I think we have a little bit higher uh, cash VIX. It feels kind of fairish because we have all this stuff coming out of Washington. It's good, bad, whatever. You still have kind of the aftermath of the yucky hurricane. Um, so just from that point of view, we also have the impending uh, debt ceiling issue. So. My sense for that is still not much has changed is that the October October options will probably pick up value slowly but surely until then. So right now, remember what is VIX doing? It's measuring right around to today is the 30th. So it's looking at um, just that late September option. It's about to break into October for the SPX because it changes every uh, week. It flips what weekly futures it looks at. So you could see something out of that um, if we don't get any resolution from you know Congress on the debt ceiling thing. So I still like the time spread concept. We did uh, one that worked fairly well even when the market blew up. Um, kind of an option pit special type trade this week. And anyway, I think we'll look for another one. Uh, this week to the, for today. I don't see any reason why we couldn't uh, do the same thing. Um, also, a, f a few a few things. Uh, we'll look at more softness in oil. We have a trade on in there that's doing okay. Um, strange. Um, you know, you have uh, you have refining issues, which is a different thing. Um, but at least crude. Right now, it's still kind of soft. Again, it's kind of still, I think it's still suffering from the supply issue, not enough demand. Uh, TLT, we have a little bit of a short position in there with some time spreads in our strategy letter. 
it, they're doing okay. Um, we were able to 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 manage the position well yesterday on the on the on the jump, and we're looking that for this to, again to stay strangely weak or recover some of this. What I just call, you know, ever since the you know, what is this, this August sort of temper tantrum type stuff out of Washington? Treasuries have sort of leaked up a little bit. Um, also, SPX. Uh, another trade idea we could have is that 2,500 level. Uh, how can we sell the 2,500 level but belong to it? Um, you know, if, if we can continue to kind of hold here, it feels like you, we do want to go higher. It's very odd, but... That's what we have. It's not like there's a lot of good news really floating around. You got the Korea. You have like a lot of one-off stuff. Um, but we'll look at a trade um, in the SPX for that. Um, and and lastly, we should see a little bit of contango action um, in there. Clinton's asking any trade on XL. I like owning the long-term volatility of the banks, Clinton. So. Take your pick. January options. Everybody's looking at me like, what? How do you do that? But come into our chat room, become a gold member, and you actually learn how to trade long-term options in a way that can make you some money. All right. And with that, uh, I will see a bunch of you in our platinum class tonight. Uh, I might be in for the chat today for a little while. And uh, I will be doing the chat on Friday at Option Pet, okay? Um, and Thursday. All right, everybody. So those are, again, those are the trade ideas that I think still look okay. Um, we will be look, trying to look at gold again as well. So um, uh, if we really, if we get, can continue to get a push. It's really strange that those macro products are starting to come alive again, but that's what we got. And with that, everybody, you have a good day.